in this video I will be showing you how to export your meshes from Blender into Roblox Studios with color so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open up your Blender file and once you have that open go to this little button right here click on it and then click on the face orientation. Uh, your mesh should be blue if it's not there's an easy way to fix that just tab into it by clicking on it and clicking tab and then go to the face selection mode, click on whichever faces are red, and then click shift in, and click this little button on uh, whichever one makes them blue. So once you have your normals all recalculated to where they're all blue, uh, then you can just click on this and click on face orientation, and then just tab off of that uh, by clicking tab, and then we need to go to the UV editing by clicking this little button right here, and then click on open, and find a color palette and I will leave the link for this color palette in the description below for you guys so once you have this color palette in we just need to click on our mesh tap into it and then select any geometry that uh, like I want to color this band first so I'm just gonna select this band by clicking L and uh, so once I have this band part right here selected by clicking L I'm going to click U while my cursor is on the right side of the screen, then click unwrap. If I clicked you while my cursor is on this side of the screen, it uh, it wouldn't work. So unwrap it and then click A, S, and zero while your cursor is on the left side. And then I want this little band to be white. And then while my cursor is on the other side, I'm going to click control I to select everything else in the mesh except for what I currently have selected. So then I am going to click U and unwrap. And then while my cursor is on this side, I am going to click A, S, and 0, and scale it down, and move it to this little color right here. And now, if you go into the material mode, uh, which is this one right here, uh, you'll see that uh, we don't have any color yet. We shouldn't have color because we need to do one more thing first. So while your mesh is selected, go into the material tab and click new. And then click on this little base color button right here and go to image texture. And on this little drop down right here, click on our little uh, palette thing. So if you don't see any color, first off, make sure that you're in the material view right here. If you're not, you won't be able to see it. I mean, I guess you could go into render too, but that takes up a lot of processing power. If you do not, then make sure you first have a palette. Secondly, you can see our geometry, like I have a little uh, piece of geometry right here for the white band and a little piece for the blue hat itself. And go into the material tab and make sure you have a material and the base color is an image texture and the little drop down is our palette. And of course your material view. So once you have your mesh all colored, now we can actually export it into Roblox Studios. So go into the modeling tab right here and then select our mesh, make sure it's selected, and then go to the file, export, and FBX, and then save it anywhere you want and make sure to name it something memorable. So I am just going to name mine Fedora and make sure to limit to selection only because that will only export what we have selected. So if you have any other objects in your scene, it will export that if you have this checked and if you have our object selected. So go ahead and hit export, FBX, and I'll see you back in Roblox Studios. And once you're inside of here, you can just go to the import 3D and go to wherever you save mine. For me, I saved on the desktop, just select it and click open. And then uh, I usually don't mess around with these settings and just click import and then click close on this. So now we have exported our mesh into Roblox Studios. You can go ahead and scale it down because for me, uh, Fedora is not this big. It's more like this right here and if you're having a weird like slightly transparent problem where some parts of it are slightly transparent then that means you didn't do the normals right but you can also fix it by going into the properties you can open that up by going to the view and then properties right here uh, so just select the actual mesh itself because if you did your settings like mine is probably inside of the model, then go to the properties and double side. So that makes it to where on the inside, it means both sides of our mesh have geometry. So I'm just gonna uncheck that and yeah guys, that's pretty much it. If you still have any problems, please uh, rewatch the video. Uh, if you still can't do it, then make sure to leave a comment below and I will do my best to help you. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.